Hi guys, so my name is Arda. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a micro bit ring bit car. So I bought this recently. I've been doing this for six years. And in this video, I am going to show you how to code it. So first of all, you're going to go into your Microsoft Edge, which I'm going to do, or well, your Chrome or Safari, whatever. You're going to search up Let's Code micro bit. And then you're going to click on the first one, Let's Code micro bit. After that, you should be in a page similar to this. You're going to press Make Code Editor. After that, you should be in this. Oh, as you can see, I've made recent ones. I'm going to press New Project, and this is going to say Car Moving. And then it's creating a project for me. And then, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go into your Advanced section. You're going to press an Extension. After that, you're going to search up or project URL. So we're going to search up Ring Bit Car. Uh, no gaps, no finger spaces. In Ring Bit Car, we're not doing buggy. So this is the one we have. And as you can see, you should have Ring Bit Car right here underneath your map. You can close your advanced. First of all, you're going to get on start. And then in you're going to go into your Ring Bit Car. After that, you're going to click the Ceph left wheel set left wheel at p1 right wheel at p2 so that meaning the p1 will move the left wheel p2 will move the right wheel which is the motors mover and then after that you're going to go into your input it should be on button a press in my one i'm going to make it go left but you can do whatever you want so you're going to go into ring bit uh, you're going to search up spin right zero degrees so it should be like this right now then you're going to press, I want it to go left. You're just going to click on it and press left. If you're going to make it forward, I'm going to show that later. First, we've done that bit. But first, we don't want it to move zero degrees because that would be nothing, obviously. I'm going to make mine 90 degrees. Then you're going to go back. And then there's no on button B press, as you can see. But you're just going to take A again and tap on it and press B. Once you've done that, you're going to go back into your ring bit again. And search up as you can see again there's no spin left so you're just going to take spin right click on it and then press left and not zero zero degrees it's 90 and now we are going to do our oh sorry it's already left we're going to leave it right sorry and then you're going to go into your input and press on button a press but as you can see there's only a and b but what you can do is press A again and A and B. So once you press A and B at the same time, it should be going forward. So there's you can go, go forward for size zero for how many seconds you want or go forward to how many centimeters you want. I'm going to pick seconds, but you can do whatever you want. And then how many seconds? I'd recommend five. You don't want it too long. And do four. Once that, you're going to take your ring bit car get not a lightning cable nor a usb-c you're gonna get this cable here plug it in here and as you can see there should be an orange light in here if you can you, you don't have to see but the light should be tiny light. then you're gonna press download and then you should see this but i don't want this i'm gonna go into my folder but there's an easier one i'm gonna press show in folder after that you're going to go to the most recent one, which is my this one. And then you should have micro bit E here. And you're going to just hold it and then put it here. I'm going to tap, put it on micro bit E. Once this is done, the orange light, if you can see it here, should be flashing a lot. Because uh, that means it's downloading. You're going to simply wait. And then it's done. Once you've done that, it you can or you're going to eject it. I because you don't need the wire anymore. Once you've done that, so now it's our testing time. Turn it on. Simply. So first of all, so let's make it go forward. You know, tap on A and B. Oh my god. Okay. Or you can press A and then it's gonna turn left. Or in B, it's gonna turn back. And then that's a simple way of doing turning it turning your rim bit car forward left or right thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you bye